we've had kids take the bat to school for show and tell and pass it around the room. Hey, bat! Nice bat! Yeah, nice series of shots, kiddo. Dr. Joanne Schulte is referring to an out-of-town case, but says curiosity could expose kids to rabies, like one earlier this month involving multiple toddlers. We had a group of young children who were at a playground near a daycare center. They found a bat under a slide, they picked it up, and they played with it. All of the children received an immune globulin which prevents rabies. It's not known if the bat actually had rabies since it hasn't been recovered, but several bats with rabies have been found this year. According to the Kentucky Public Health Veterinarian, Kentucky has seen 10 rabid bats through the first seven months of 2016. The average number for the last six years is just eight. There have been 15 documented rabies cases in the last 15 years in Jefferson County. 14 have been bats. We find a lot of bats that will land and go in right up under the soffit up there. Robert Hale worked two bat complaints Monday alone. He says Black Diamond Pest Control's bat phone rings more and more, even though according to Indiana DNR statistics, bats are declining in number. But we just take every, every little area into account. Um, when they can fit through a quarter inch hole or, or bigger, there's really nothing that you want to overlook. Right now, bats have found their way away from caves and are mating. Black Diamond recently found this colony in an attic. These may all be healthy, but Dr. Schulte says if you encounter a bat, assume it's rabid. There have been cases in other states, not here in Louisville, where after a Batman movie is out or something like that, that kids are go batty about bats.